Hi everyone, this is Manu Noodle Royce from Nomad Kali in Combat Fitness. Um, welcome to this new series that we're going to uh, present to you. We call it uh, Things Your Instructor or Teacher Probably Didn't Tell You. Now let me pre uh, premise this with this. Um, this is not to say or insult anybody's instructors. This is just something that I've come to realize in the four years of training that sometimes we either do not hear information being conveyed by our instructors or our instructor did not convey very well or they forgot. <laughs> you know, sometimes things happen. Sometimes your instructor was relatively new and he didn't know certain aspects either. Right? Sometimes that happens. So this is not an insult to anybody. Sometimes things happen. But if I can help fill in the gaps for you, that's what I would like to do and help you with your training. Make sense? All right, so here we go. Hey everybody, so continuing on with um, the footwork from the last episode, right? I will go over certain aspects of body mechanics regarding the footwork now. So when you step, right, I like to teach based off of stepping on the ball of your foot, not so much at the toe. Daily, when we walk around daily, we're used to stepping heel to toe. But sometimes that's not always the case. After all, how many, how many fighters in the UFC or, or K1 or one championships or whatever martial art um, fighting forum out there bounce around on their, on their heels? <laughs> it, it doesn't work very well. So when you want to bounce around, you're moving about, you're always on the ball of your feet. It just allows you to be light. Your, your heel and knee and foot are all designed to compress and bounce the spring. This, this whole motion. So if it's like when we're doing squats, right? We're doing lunges, right? All these motions, it, it's all mechanically designed in our body for a reason. So we could run, right? Bounce around for the techniques in our kicks, punches, right? Without understanding how our body works, this becomes difficult. I've watched a lot of people go to a boxing, they say a gym, but it's not. I won't say what it is, but it's, um, you know, they like to do a lot of, um, get people to come in for fitness, get bags, and that's good, but you don't see much footwork around. But they have beginners, absolute beginners striking bags, that's, that could potentially hurt the beginner, or hurt the person trying to just exercise and get in shape. One thing you need to understand is that when I step and move, I'm transitioning my weight, like I said in the last in the last episode. But how am I doing so? By pushing off of that ball of the foot, not the heel. If I push off the heel, I, I put my knee in a precarious situation where I can cause damage to it. So when I when I pivot, when I strike and pivot. I'm pointing my knee in the same direction. This is what's gonna help me create that rotation that we talked in the first episode of extension rotation. So I move it about. My foot pivots, aligns my knee, above, uh, um, my knee over my toe, allows me to extend and press. If I plant my heel, I can still extend by using the, using the force of pressing down and pushing my hip forward. So I have several options here. If I need to move fast, I'm always rotating, rotating my, my legs. Even if I'm going to do a takeoff, like we're doing in Ali, right? we're going to rotate and pivot. We're going to rotate, lift the heels up, rotate and pivot, and we're going to, we're going to press off, like, a, like in a runner's mark, right? Or like a cheetah taking off on the pouncing. The, knee, the knees over the foot and the heels lifted, so I can spring and project and take off. Does that make sense?